everyone welcome back to another exos heroes video so in today's video we are going to be breaking down the update for tomorrow for fc kaya's blue fate core okay so notice fate core chance up heavenly voice kaya recruit so kaya again comes from a parallel world looking like a nun so she became more religious and she actually made use of her singing career so in terms of the period this will drop on august 19th after the maintenance up to august 25th and the main hero you can recruit hero plus fate core with a higher probability than premium recruit so again the design with the costume and the leg going out i like it like it very much so um again no doubt that the, the the artists at exo series have overdone themselves again and very good design um let's move on i'm not sure yet if i have enough says to zone for her i'm still thinking of pulling in the current banner which i need other blue fate course aside from her but i'll have to decide that later okay so let's move on so for her fate core, there's a, a, a plus in her attack of 78, defense of 65, health, an uh, additional 518, and combat power is 19 for 40. So, obtain fate core heavenly voice. Kaya grants buff to support hero type, which is support. Okay, so combat power plus 2% and defense would be plus 1% usually this goes up as you do fusions or you have extra copies of this blue fate core so target or buff target support uh, support type hero of course misty is there additional survival uh luna is there as well shell so again there's a cast here that needs really uh, good buffs talia is actually there and she's already tanky enough because of her heals ramji needs it uh more or less again this would help uh, support heroes i really wish that they should have put um, a plus hp instead of defense for for support but anyway it's there it is for legendary you have april legger of course lepin um notables is that's it so cybel is already here um rare so of course iris kaya herself and who else so nobody else notable so again this would really kind of have a little buff to your to your uh, what do you call this to your um support heroes i'm not sure if this is going to be that significant hopefully it is because supports are actually prone to being killed first but if they have additional defense then they could probably survive it would be better again if it was hp or both hp and defense that would be ridiculous but anyway so fate core heavenly voice kaya change buff level according to fusion grade so the buff effect will be strengthened when you proceed with blue fate core fusion during grades a to e randomly de determined and changed to the maximum minimum range level according to the capability if more than once it will be randomly determined among the higher fusion levels than the current level so for one fusion <laughs> it's still attack here guys so it's it's <laughs> they're actually made a typo again so again so more or less it's an increase of defense between 1.9 to 2.1 then so on and so forth so for a this is actually your fusion 5 already which has a maximum um defense addition of six percent to 6.3 5% 5% to 6.3 okay so <laughs> they better do something about this because they're actually not putting out the right details here in terms of her skill information there has been a little bit of a difference so for her passive it's actually few uh, first aid not first aid three okay so it was downgraded so gr it only has grants heal uh, of attack to an ally if they take damage and their health falls below 20% or less the one that was removed was the gain mana so gain mana 
uh, two slots, two two lines of gain mana was removed. In their place, um, they put their ascension mark, so increases own defense by twenty percent for seven turns upon receiving health regeneration effects. Can be stacked up to five times. Actually, this is kind of redundant because again, why would you have somebody regenerating health there when you have her as a healer? Okay, this is a kind of weird because actually I think if I can remember uh, so far Dorka has health regeneration but if you put her there, kind of okay but um, I think this skill has become redundant but anyway, it's there already. And next is her S1. It's Sublime Favor. The required mana is actually still the same. Okay, but the only difference... the the text is the same. Okay, heals all allies by 27% of own maximum health. The only difference is from the from the original version, it's 41. Now it's down to 27. So healing is actually going down <laughs> because she converted into a nun, probably. Cleanses all debuffs and damage over time effects on all allies. So it's still there. For her S2 area of vindication, so effect. So it's still a five mana burst. So heals all allies by 55%. Previously, it was at 83%. So take note of that big drop in terms of heal. Um, again, anyway, during battle, you won't be using her. You'll be using more, her more for her buffs or probably the skin that she's using. So more or less, again, stats have been lowered. 20, 41 to 27, then 83 to 55. So I don't know why they lowered it. I think this is the first time I've seen it. I don't know. I, I don't recall the others being kind of nerfed in terms of their power. Oh, sorry, in terms of stats, especially when they have their, their FC. Um, anyway, this is blue. You're, you're not going to bring her anyway in battle. But again, she's, she's a good FC to have for buffs alone. For support and also for the skin that she brings okay so precaution heavenly voice kaya is blue ready fate core so the chance up is at 0.5 yeah 0.5 because it's a blue fate core not 0.7 so you're you can earn one recruit mileage for recruiting a hero 11 times two core 28 core mileages are required for guaranteed obtain okay so anyway, um, I'm not sure yet if she's going to create an impact in the game right now, in the meta. Um, probably if you have her at Fusion 5, but again, there are a lot better. Like for example, you have Rera for Chaos type for, for increase attack. You have there, um, who's the other one? You have also Sabrina for attack type heroes and also increase attack. So again, um, I'm not sure about her, but her exclusive weapon chance up is going to be here as well. Anthem Zoro, Kaya's exclusive weapon, a unique instrument favored by Kaya from a parallel world. So it's kind of a harp. So again, guys, I haven't been recommending um, what do you call this um, exclusive weapons unless you're a big fan of Kaya and if you want to complete the whole ensemble of the new FC and the new weapon, then be my guest. But again, this just, you know, um, makes you spend a lot of zest for, because you won't be able to use her. But actually, come to think of it, I actually summoned for FC Sabrina's weapon with her blue FC. So again, each to his own. So anyway, precaution, the rate again of Anthem Sorrow is 0.5% and 28 core mileages as well. So again, guys, I'm. Um, if you, you know, if you do summon for her, you only use a few support. Usually in your team, let's say for example, we go back to this chart, you only use one or two supports. Most of most are usually defensive type or attack type heroes. So again, some even don't use support. So again, or one probably. So again, you summon for her because um, you need her in your team. You like the skin. Again, 
I hope you apply the saying waifu over meta. So more or less from my end, I would not recommend her at this time. If you still have a lot of other blue fate cores to summon, especially now that you have the chance, um, she could be parked for a future banner because again, they will be recycled back. If you have finished the, the blue fate course that you are supposed to get before her, then you can summon for her. Okay, guys, thank you so much for staying this far in this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe and consider subscribing. Also, don't forget to click the bell icon and put a like to this video. Thank you, guys. Stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.